Yay. The Lakers dysfunction was chronicled yesterday in an ESPN article. LA Times columnist Bill Plaschke then wrote that dysfunction will make it difficult for them to land a top free agent this summer. On the other hand, Rick Buecher said one of those top free agents to be Kyrie Irving will decide between the Nets and Lakers. Rick is back with us. So what is your best guess? on additions the Lakers will make this summer. Okay. They're going to have to take somebody hostage, meaning they're <laughs> going to have to trade for them. Mm -hmm. And that's and, and the difficulty there is you were hoping you were going to add talent without having to give any away. Mm -hmm. If you're making a deal, now you're going to have to sacrifice some of what you have in order to add talent. And as a result, how much better your team is going to be collectively is up in the air. This is how bad the situation is for the Lakers. I was told, Kobe, Kobe had said to me on a couple of different occasions, I'm not involved with the Lakers. I'm not doing anything with the wow. Lakers. Wow. Now, I was told that he was involved in talking to Kyrie and trying to convince him to come out and the reasons why he should re rejoin forces with, with LeBron. LeBron. Kobe reached out to me again today uh -huh. and said, I'm not in. Don't, don't count me as part of that. That's a reflection of where this organization is. A guy who is steeped in the purple and gold wow. does not want to be part of his former agent running the show. It's like, don't, don't make me part of that mess right now. Mm. Do you think that this was triggered by the... Palinka video using Kobe's That story. lie he told. Yeah. Not, good. <sighs> Not a good look. I think it's all of it. Mm. I think it's all, it's such a mess, magic walking off the way that he did. The, the video, um, the suggestion that he's somehow involved and therefore knows that the chances of somebody getting here. I mean, Kobe doesn't want it to look like, hey, I am involved, I am recruiting, I am trying to get talent here. And we got nothing. And we've... <laughs> And we're, we're coming Struck up out. goose eggs. Yeah. Nobody wants to be part of that. And that is what it looks like right now. It's, I, I, I wish for Lakers fans, and, and, and I wish for LeBron that he's, the ending would be somehow different. And for the league as a whole, that he would become part of the equation again. It's just for, it's hard for me to imagine that a year from now, we're going to be sitting here and we're not going to be talking about the same thing, which is what the playoffs look without a LeBron James. Mm. Quick question. The quickest fix to me right here, right now, would be for Jeannie to fire Rob Palenka. I've not heard a single good word about him s since all this mess started. Have you? I don't know. Have you ever heard a good thing about him? Is there anything positive about the man. Rob Palenka? The man got he, he's oh. it. He, he tried to call back to the back part of his mind. <laughs> to say, have I ever it. heard anything good about Rob Palenka? Okay. And so, he still had an answer. So now back to the question, would Jeannie fire him? Are they, are they too close? Are they, would she swallow pride and, and just say, I got to cut ties? At this point, no. I don't see a way in which she's going to change no. direction. It's going to be, we have the summer. See, we see it from the outside and we hear all this. I feel as if right now the Lakers are living in a bubble and it's an echo chamber. And they're believing, no, we'll be okay. Hmm. We'll be okay. We've got time. We've got money. Let's see where we go with the draft. Let's see where we go with free agency. Let's see where we go with trades. She's not going to take the bat out of Rob's hand at this point. It's going to be, you know what, there's a lot of innuendo. It's a lot of... I know Rob Palinka. I know him personally. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for, as Jeannie for now. Uh, I'm going to see where this goes. Those that are close to me, I'm going to ride with them and see where this goes. And then when we get to the fall, and if it turns out as we all anticipate, which is they're left empty-handed, yep. then she's going to have a tough decision to make. Okay. I like your phrase, take someone hostage. <laughs> it's come to that for the Los Angeles Lakers because that's the only way to acquire someone is to actually go get them yeah. and bring them to you, w whether they like it or not, quote unquote. Right. And the obvious target would be, still be Anthony AD. AD. We had LeBron in Cleveland, and even LeBron in his prime, it was a struggle. Obviously, it's Cleveland, but it was a struggle to get free agents there 
because of the questions of the franchise. If LeBron left and then I'm left playing for the Cavaliers, do they know how to get it done? No. Hmm. He's now facing the very same thing with the Lakers. Hmm. Like, guys are going to look at, okay, LeBron, that's great. You're there and everything, but who's there that I trust that is going to build this team and we're going to have the right culture and, and all of that? It's, it's, they're not in a good place. Hmm. Okay, so <laughs> scale of zero to 100%, how much, what percent would you give in pulling off the AD trade this now, now coming up in the next month or so? I, I don't see it because there's a personal aspect with the Pelicans' ownership. They're still holding a grudge. It's anywhere but the Lakers. Like, I mean, it's, you, not, it's not a matter of making the best deal. It's a matter of, okay, make the best deal as long as it's not the but Lakers. But the new GM, David Griffin, is carrying on that grudge? Well, yeah, because the owner's the, the owners, same. Okay. Hmm. Gail Benson is standing on... You can, you can do your job, do the best that you can, but we're not talking to them. Mm. Shannon, this whole segment has turned into awful news for you. I don't, I, even, I, well, I don't even want to talk. I, I, no. I don't even want to talk. Go ahead, Skip. Y'all, y'all keep it going. The whole time I've been here and I keep, keep I wanting to like... leave for a second. Uh, sorry, Shannon. This, this, is, this is terrible. Huh. And this, this is what we got. The ownership. We got Jeannie Buss. She's not going anywhere. Kurt and Linda Rambus. They're not going anywhere. Rob Palenka's not going anywhere. This is... The, my, my greatest issue is... And I've always admired what Jeannie has done. I've respected what she's done as a woman in the business. She's, you know, obviously the shadow of her dad, but she's built her own presence. Yeah. And to sure. be on the board of governors, all of that, impressive. Jeannie can't be silent now. She can't be not quoted. I mean, the, the, the ESPN report, they reached out to her. It shouldn't even be somebody reaching out to you to get reaction. You need to be proactive. Mm. I need to know that somebody has their hand on the wheel. Mm. That's part of, I mean, among the, uh, the many other things, you talk to people around the league, who are we supposed to call? Mm. Who are we supposed to talk to? Who are we making who a deal with? with? Yeah. Who has the ultimate authority there? Mm. Jeannie has the ultimate authority. And, and yet, it, the ESPN story had an anonymous quote saying that Linda Rambus controls and manipulates Jeannie Buss. Yeah. That is Strong. It is. And it's insulting to Jeannie. And oh, yeah. manipulates. But, well, why didn't she call to refute it? To your point, I'm saying the same. Oh, you can't say, oh, and, Shannon, Shannon's being manipulated by such and such. Mm. I'm going to get on the phone. You ain't going to have to reach out to me for a compliment. I'm going to call you to give you a comment. I, I can attest, no <laughs> one has ever controlled and manipulated Shannon. No. I can, so I can I'm like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Skip, no. see? Now, LeBron, I'm, I'm sorry, Bron, because this is not what we envision. No. When we, when we loaded up the truck and moved from Cleveland, mm -hmm. we like the Beverly Hills business. We loaded it up and came to Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. This is not what we envisioned spending the last no. three, four years of our career. It actually flips it around a little bit because we've always looked at LeBron, and he's always had these prerequisites mm -hmm. to doing anything. Mm -hmm. Didn't trust anybody. No, 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 no. You got to have this, this, and this before I'm going to join the party. For the first time, he didn't do that. He said, I'm coming, I'm signing long term. I believe it's because he had other motivations sure. to be here, Obviously. wants his son to grow up yeah. here, mm -hmm. wants to get on with the production company, etc. But all that said, he didn't have those prerequisites. He didn't hold their feet to the fire. You know why? Look what he got. Because he had Magic Johnson. That's, that's all he needed to know. Magic knocked on his door at Magic midnight. Go, Magic gonna do it. Magic gonna right? do thing, right? Because it's Magic Johnson, come on, right? the player he should have most often been compared to, the, the guy that he most plays like, the guy with the other highest IQ in the history of basketball, sure. Magic Johnson. And he is no longer employed by the Lakers. This is what happens when you put a bunch of people in place that's unqualified for the positions that they hold. And this is what you get, Rick. This is it. Oh. Now. Mm. I just feel bad for you over there, Shannon. That's all right. Are you sure your man might not walk in tomorrow and say, get me out of here, Jeannie? We might. Trade me? But then Rick did a whole piece a month or so ago about, about what you're going to get back. A lot, a lot of owners are point. saying, really? I don't know if we really want this. Well, you'll you take that anyway because they don't know what they're doing over there. So mm. you'll take anything. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead. Give him up. Mm. Can you trade him? Let's see. Uh, where would LeBron look good? Mm. I'm thinking Space Jam 2. 
<laughs> oh, that, we might put, we we shelving that for the time being. At this point, are you shelving it? For the time thing. being, we really? go we go and we go and recruit. Well, it doesn't seem like they're shooting yet. Maybe they had they had scheduled it for post finals. Well, hey, hey, well, considering Giannis would be great. Yeah, because <laughs> he flopped in the Eastern oh. Conference Finals, he'd be great in Space Jam. Well, now you don't need him. Yeah, Nobody yeah, we need. Cares. Yeah, because we need somebody to flop. Mm. So he'll be great. No acting. He'll need any. So LeBron can't get anybody to play with him or act with him. No, 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 no. Right? No, we can't get anybody to come to that. No. That. I love that. I mean, look at that Kurt and Genie Linda Rambus just, are running not the Lakers. very inviting. Uh, I keep saying it can only get better yeah. here. When? Somehow Where? it doesn't feel like that's mm. happening. It sure doesn't feel that way to I me. I don't feel like we've hit bottom yet. Mm. Okay. What? Yeah. All right, can we get there quick? Get your Rick? parachute. I want to get back to uh, those ways. Thank Ooh. you for being here. Always good to have you with us. Uh, Meta World Peace is going to join oh, the show is... next, and we're going to talk w about a 